Yo, what's going on? Shout outs to all the true believers in the wild. This is your boy, Dope Figs. And I'm here to show off this new Logan figure. Got it in the mail last week. My sister ordered it for me for my birthday. When it first came out, she pre-ordered it. So, you know, showing you these old joints. These look hideous. They're so ugly that I love them. And so they just remade this guy. Um, it'd be dope if we got one of these right here. You know what's weird is my light came on the other day, my camera light, and it's not coming on today. So I just thought I'd show you guys how, how dope this figure is. You can see the stripes in the wife beater. He's got the belt buckle. He's got the dog tags, the alternative face scope. It's a good looking Hugh Jackman. Really dope, man. Um, I don't think this is the same body mold as the Cowboy Logan. Pretty sure it's not, right? Because Hugh Jackman is like six feet tall, six five or some shit. And comic book Wolverine is like five two. I don't know why this light ain't coming on. It came on the other day. It's weird. It's boggling my mind. It's pissing me off. But, you know, while we're on the subject of dope figs, might as well show you guys this, too. Rest in peace to Chadwick Bozeman. Copped this the other day. Had to get this. I've been looking at it for a while. I have Tiger Stripe Logan. I have Black Suit Spider-Man. And I have The Incredible Hulk. Marvel Legends. Um, 12 inch series and I have the old school ones too if you look on my page I have the Marvel Legends uh, Marvel Icons I got a bunch of those I think I got Brown Suit Wolverine Thor I have um, who else do I have Human Torch old school Daredevil um can't really remember who else i think that's it i saw a hulk on ebay for 80 bucks and i waited too long to grab it and the day i went to go buy it somebody bought it those that those marvel icons green hulk is super expensive and you know what's crazy i had i had venom i had you know and you could get these for 20 bucks you know what i'm saying back at kb toys and you know early 2000s through 2000 2010 era you know what i'm saying and um i don't know man i just fell off of my collecting but yo i'm at an all-time high right now my collection is bonkers right now and all of them are unopened you know what i'm saying but yeah man just wanted to show you guys this new logan you know what i mean show you guys the old logans pretty dope I'm looking forward to see what Marvel does with the X-Men franchise. I'm looking forward to seeing who is going to be the next Logan. He's got some uh, some heavy shoes to fill. But we'll see what happens, man. I'm sure they're going to do a great job. They did a great job with the Avengers. I'm excited for the Schneider cut. And the trailer for the Schneider Cut is all new scenes. I didn't see any um, old scenes, you know what I mean? Nice box right here. Nice claws. I really want to get the Old Man Logan 2-pack with Patrick Stewart. And the other Old Man Logan 2-pack with Hawkeye, Old Man Hawkeye. As you can see, I am a chess player. I love chess. I will scrape anyone watching this in chess. Anytime you want to get your ass handed to you in a chess match, please holler at me. We could we could bet figures. 
and I'll be more than obliged to scrape you. Uh, now I'm going to go back to watching Interview with the Vindpaya. Alright? It's getting, shit's getting serious. They just met, um, Antonio Banderas. Alright, brothers and sisters out there, and all my collectors in the wild. Hey, uh, I got a special guest with me. Hey, you guys, Shardimus Prime here, back with another Marvel Legends action figure review. And on a scale of 1 to 10, I love it! No, this is Anthony's Customs, and this figure is dog shit. It's like somebody's dog took a shit, ate the shit, shit the shit back out, and then another dog ate that shit and shit it out. And then... Now, you know, guys, this is Talker Art here, you know, and, uh, you know, I got 17 of these figures, and, you know, I had to get 17 more, so now I have a gambling problem because I had to go and gamble some money to get the money up to, you know, to get these things, you know, what are you going to do? I'm a sucker for these things, and, uh, yeah. And this is just Jay Hernandez, and here is Black Panther next to uh, My Hero Academia. And here is a Black Panther next to F.H. Figure Arts. And here is a Black Panther next to Marvel Legends. And here is a Black Panther next to a Gatorade bottle. And here is a Black Panther next to a DVD player. And here is a Black Panther next to an alternator. And here's a Black Panther next to a Mezco. Now, I'm playing around. I love those guys. Those guys are uh, goats in this business that we call collecting and reviewing. And I would... Yeah, look at all these boxes right here, guys. You know about this shit. And, uh, you know, I aspire to be as good as those guys are one day. Or is popular. Those guys are a big inspiration. And all you guys are a big inspiration. So, uh, you know, one love. Shout outs to everybody out there in the wild. All the true believers. Keep collecting. And, um, yo, man, I know we're living in some crazy times. And I know things get very depressing. And we all have anxiety. And we all going through something crazy. And we have thoughts that bug us the fuck out all the time. And I just want you guys to know. Everything's going to be okay. Prayer up. God bless you. I'm with you. I understand how you feel. And even though you might feel alone, you are not alone. In this world, it's very easy to feel alone and get trapped in the darkness. You know what I'm saying? And I've been trapped in that darkness on several occasions in my life. And I just want you guys to know that um, there's light at the end of the tunnel. So, yo... Believe in yourself, have faith, believe in God, and things can change. You know what I mean? Alright, you guys be safe. One love.